As you're being seated, I wanted to share something. I've got to know Dustin here in the past year pretty well. So what I know is that if Robbie doesn't take care of his daughter, he's gonna take her back, okay? So um, that means you gotta take care of her. But I've met Robbie and now I know he's gonna take care of her. Well, the gospel is the good news. The good news that two people can come together and they can love one another and when one person's given 60%, the other person kicks it up to 140. There's no 50-50 in a marriage. It's you take up the slack when you need to take up the slack. You give your all. Jesus gave his all. He shed his blood for us. He loves us that much. Robbie, you are entering into a relationship with many privileges. The woman you love is about to become your wife. In no other way could she so tell of her love for you than by her willingness to turn from her friends and her family and her loved ones to make her home with you. Your people will be her people. Your God will be her God. Brianna, you two are entering into a relationship with many privileges and obligations. The man that you love is about to become your husband. He's a good man. Your love will be his inspiration. Your prayers will be his tower of strength. Now having pledged your love and your loyalty to each other, 
and have sealed the pledge with the marriage rings, I do by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, declare and pronounce and shout. <laughs> what am I supposed to say now? <laughs> you may kiss your wife. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter to the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth to the other. Now there is no more loneliness, for each of you will be company to the other. Now though there are two persons, there is only one life before you. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Robbie Abbott.
Father, bless this marriage. Cause them to be so much in love that it would be the same kind of love that you gave us. I thank you for it. I thank you for this moment that we have to reflect on how good you are. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.